TJ on the beat. Well, I'm out of ideas. Guess I gotta use the idea box again. Oh no. Oh please no, anything but this, please no, no! Alright, let's spin the wheel of education. Alright, let's, let's see what we get here. Oh, moles! Guess we're doing a video about moles, guys! I swear I'm only making this video because I want to inform you guys about moles. I mean, who doesn't want to learn about moles? And not just because my grade is in the gutter right now. So, without further ado, uh, let's, let's learn about moles. I'm a pal imitator, I'm a boy in the sky. We're a cow in his head, and a knot in his sky. You may not know this, but moles are some pretty interesting creatures. There are 25 different types of moles, such as the short-faced mole, Roman mole, eastern mole, and the... No, 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 not, not this type of mole, no! Get out of here, star-nosed mole, no one likes you! <laughs> Anyways, even though there's different types of moles, they actually don't differ that much from each other. Some examples of the things that they have in common is that they can breathe underground. They have a special tolerance to carbon dioxide from a special form of <laughs> wait, hemoglobin in their blood cell, which gives them a higher affinity to oxygen. Another cool thing about moles is that they have two thumbs. Yeah, thanks for digging. The thing that you probably noticed about moles is that it looks like they don't have eyes. They do, it's just really tidy. But look at them, look at them. He's so little. All right. So since a mole lives underground, what do you think its diet consists of? Is it A, worms? If you answered A, you're right, yay! Get a gold star! So what have we learned about moles today? Well, we learned how moles can live underground good, they got two thumbs, tiny eyes, and they can eat worms. So basically nothing. But yeah, that's the video, see you guys. Well, that video's a wrap. Hopefully that will get my grade up. Anyways, let's see what we have to do today. Alright, uh, clean grant. Hold up, hold up. There we go. You know what? This urine kind of looks like crap. I need to get one that suits grandma better. Mom's gonna be so happy to see I got grandma new. All right, guys, we're back at the educational video decider because uh, I need to make this video longer so I can get more ad revenue so I can move out of the house before mom gets home. Anyways, let's see what we're gonna be talking about. Ah, moles again. All right, let's see here. Well, that helped. A mole is a unit amount that equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and is used for measuring very large quantities of very small things such as atoms, molecules, and other specified particles. You might just be sitting there thinking to yourself, huh? huh? But that's okay, I'll explain it in a way more simpler form. Mole equals this. Now this is also known as Avogadro's number. If you can't tell, it was discovered by a scientist named Ama... Uh, I'm a uh, av avocado. So how do you use this number in an equation? Well, uh, oh, I'm I'm running low on time, so here's a picture. So yeah, that's all you need to know about moles. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, I gotta leave like right now because uh, mom's coming home in an hour, and when she finds grandma's ashes, she is not gonna be happy. Oh wait, guys, we're we're in the clear. I, that was my dog's ashes, guys. I got my grandma's ashes. Oh, no.